she's given me a job that clearly she can trust me on and that's just to wash them. All right, there we go. This goes against everything. I mean, I'm washing, I'm, I'm washing the, what I'm gonna be serving on the table on the streets and the side on the curb in a small little hojo in a dirty water bucket. It, it goes against everything I was taught. But it's life here, I suppose. And big ups to her, Mount Victoria. Big ups to her. What we're gonna do now is take it into the blanching water, which has been prepared on that side there. She reckons it won't take more than about an hour. She has three packets of those 500 grams, so one and a half kgs of salt inside here. And she has to cook all of those um, those lemon heads. Yeah, it's stock water. Cooked all right. And our meat, how meat is eaten um, in African celebrations is, is pretty much as simple as what I'm doing here now. It's just the board, it's the, the slices of meat, and then one person, usually the elder person in, in, in a surrounding, would take the job of just slicing up that meat into little cubes for everyone and salt in the one corner or two corners, depending on how big the surrounding is. And it's as simple as just. Okay, I'm going in for the tongue first. See, it's, it's properly cooked all the way through. Is it good? I'll tell you what though, th this is as, as, as real as it's gonna get. You have to give it to the herders. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, like Lord was telling us that the tongue and the piece of meat that we just gave to the old lady that's all out of respect for the animal and out of respect of just eating and jo joining together as a community um, that was that was pretty real it was, it was quite something to give it to her Mum Victoria showed me how to do it her way and it just Need and finish the whole sheep's head and it tastes really good. I think it's time now to take it to Cape Town and we do it laid down.